Okay, so now we have our thing ready to go. Um, I've just tested the capacitor. It's not really soldered in yet because, um, and I've also um, gone to this. This is a really, really helpful guide. Thank you uh, to the username Chillatone for this diagram. It's really, really helpful. Without further ado, I'm going to go get some solder on the solder iron because the one that we've got is not exactly the greatest. So. Uh, we're going to be getting some solder. And also, look at this little makeshift, uh, <laughs> this makeshift stand from the actual uh, tape that I used to tape these things off. See, improvisation, guys, improvisation. I was kind of worried about where I'm going to store this um, control plate where I'm soldering it. So, without further ado, let's go get some solder. And this is my new car, guys. A new box of Corsa. Uh, my awesome girlfriend had this car before, and uh, yeah, so she sold it to me because my other car that I had um, wasn't going to make its MOT. It had a lot of soldering to do. Soldering. <laughs> oh god, welding to do. Sorry, so I got I got soldering on my mind. Uh, it had a lot of welding to do because um, yeah, it was an old car. Bless it, and it was a really really good car. And uh, <laughs> it didn't need soldering doing, it just needed welding doing. Better, better, better. Freaking speed bumps. Well, that would have been embarrassing. Um, I got halfway there and I realised I didn't have my bank card. That would have been awkward going up to the uh, counter and saying, I want some uh, solder and then I would like a soldering iron. But I can't pay you, so. Off we go again. Mission accomplished. We have a Maplin soldering iron. And I'll move them receipts. <laughs> uh, 30 watt soldering iron. Um, pretty much standard. Uh, small tip on there, which is great. And we have flux. Oops. Helpful if I didn't drop it. Flux solder as well. Uh, so it's already pre fluxed, which is going to be great. Um, I went into a hardware store. And it was like so chaotic in there. Like you just couldn't find absolutely anything in there. And it was just crazy. You couldn't find anything in there. And I'm vlogging in public. But um, no, you cannot find absolutely anything. Like I was looking around the whole store for about a good 15 minutes and it was so poorly organized. And I just haven't got anything I need in there. So bad customer service, not very good. So solder and we go. Okay, so soldering iron in place. Okay, so soldering iron in place and uh, it's smoking, but apparently that's normal. I panicked slightly. Um, apparently it's due to the new electronics kicking in. Um, so I'm just looking at the guide at the moment. Um, just the actual thing itself. Um, Yes, I know I'm supposed to have something on here, but I don't have a guide. And that's going to slip off and burn me, isn't it? Let's move that one down there. There we go. Right, so I'm just looking at the diagram at the moment, um, and it turns out I need to put a big blob of solder onto there um, and attach the capacitor onto. So um, here's the capacitor, and we're going to be attaching it to here and apparently it goes through the top two on here so if that goes onto there so what I'm going to do is just pre pre solder it or just pre place it onto there and then into there as well it's going to be really awkward I just know it is so if we feed that into there onto there and and there we go push that one in there as well so then we have a connection onto there and then the capacitor goes around on that point just there so we've got to push that inside to make sure we've got enough room onto that one and then the capacitor goes down to there um, I'll probably make it go down there I think it would just be a lot easier and what we have to do is solder the actual capacitor onto there 
um, which I'll be doing now and hopefully we can get some uh, progress um, I just need to make sure it's not going to affect anything um, whilst we're doing this so I'm just going to move this down down to there and we just need a big blob of solder onto this point here which we are going to do fairly big blob of solder because we want this connection to be very solid and I'm happy with that and then we have to solder both this one and this one together uh, let me just quickly go down to this one here see this guide is showing the middle of the pot but obviously I can't do the middle of the pot because it's um, it's basically um, it's got to turn onto the actual thing itself. Yeah, let's neaten that up a bit. I'm happy with that. So yeah, that goes through both that one and that one. So I need a bit of solder on here. And just turn that round again. Just so I can put enough solder onto there. There we go. I'm happy with that. And one more block of solder. And tin that wire onto there. So that's now soldered onto there. I'm happy with that. Okay, sorry about the uh, video cutting out. Um, yeah, battery run out. So at the moment, I've just wired the actual uh, unit to this one here, uh, tin that together and that goes to there uh, just watching this video currently so that goes from from that one there to the end pin on there which I've pretty much got so far um, connections are absolutely solid um, I'm going to clean them up a little bit though because I'm still not 100% because I'm a perfectionist like that um, so you can see right here that that's gone around there onto there so now I've got to cut the wire to there and there we go just there and this cloth wire is pretty cool actually it's both a blessing and it's both a curse sorry my head's right in the way so I'm just picking up the actual uh, wire because it fell down um, so yeah so we need to move this down here and we need to just extract this wire here and pull that all the way through um, just so I can get a decent area um, so there we're just going to tin the actual wire itself before we begin there we go. just tin that wire just to make sure the solder is going to flow efficiently on the actual wire itself okay and now we attach this wire inside of there and we solder directly onto there and I'm failing miserably at this wow <laughs> I suck at soldering um, let's move this up a bit more Onto there. Okay, now we've got a strong hold onto that. Yoink! Yoink, yoink, yoink. There we go. We have a decent. And there we go, we have a decent contact point onto there. So the wire has gone from there, so that one goes to the tone control, onto the volume inside there, and so on. Um, and yeah, so we're going to be, sorry, I keep creaking the chair, I'm just checking to see if the video is still recording. Because uh, it wasn't earlier on. There we go, I'm a lot more happy with that. And, yeah, that looks good to me. 
So, uh, we now have to... Okay, so now I'm going to have to wire... Sorry, I'm just watching the computer as well. Um, so now the potentiometer goes out on there. So this wire here now goes out to the output jack. Um, as such. So, prepare the wire again. And uh, the soldering iron, iron has stopped smoking, which is good. Um, I was panicking when I turned it on. I was like, that ain't good, kind of thing. And uh, Right, so let's tin this wire. And for those of you who are wondering, I did do resistant materials in GCSE at school. And uh, no longer at school now for... For those who are wondering, um, I left school eight years ago, and the people at work say that I look like I've just left school, and I'm 24 this year. Interesting fact. And let's move this wire up there. And I, sometimes I wish I was an octopus. I really do, because. Um, Because then you can have as many, many arms as you like and hold things down. Come on, stupid wire. Yeah. And I'm very happy with that. I think that might do me on that one there. I'm just going to put a bit more solder down the bottom joint because I know that it's going to have to last a long time. Okay. And I'm very happy with that. That looks nice and tidy. Um, obviously going to be clipping around here as well uh, just to make sure that that's going to be okay. So um, what else have we got? So yeah, apparently that is the whole, whole control plate, which is now completed. Um, very happy about that. And obviously the um, bridge pickups are going to be going through one to there and one to there, relaying through. So to make up more of the time, um, I'm going to do some close-ups of me cleaning the soldering joints. So let's go. I'm a perfectionist, so things have to look look just right for me to accept that it's going to be. And if you can hear whistling in the background, that is our cockatiel. And I'm pretty pleased with that, actually. Uh, just neaten this one up a bit. I know soldering is not about neatness, guys, but, you know, I'm very... Some people who know me... Know me? I'm know that I'm very particular about things like this. My girlfriend included. Um, <laughs> and there we go. And neaten that one up there. Basically, the whole point in this soldering is just to get a good, just to get a good contact with the actual pot itself, and just to make sure that it's gonna, you know, just gonna be okay. Uh, let's clean this one up a bit. On to there. It's probably because I'm not cleaning this that it's not remelting back again. There we go. Okay. Just make sure I'm not frazzling the actual switch itself and I think that's pretty much done. I mean the rest that I've got to do now is the pickup wiring and uh, obviously the ground and wiring for the actual jack itself so I think I might I'm not too sure if I'm going to do this now um, well, you know what screw it I might as well do it now to be honest back in a minute 
and I'm back again and uh, I've missed one important thing for the output jack and that is one on this one here on this potentiometer here um, so we're going into this one here so I'm just gonna clean up this soldering iron because it's an actual state love that noise ha so um right what do I need to, oh yeah tin the actual thing itself tin the wire it's always important to tin the wire because you know you're going to get a good good amount of contact and you know it's prepped at least you know it's going to be prepped before you do anything a big block of solder there onto there and then we solder and I've completely cocked that one up yikes it's weird how sometimes solder doesn't, doesn't melt I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just absolutely butchering this as we're going along. No, this isn't good. Dang it! That will do. Now I'm just going to solder a big blob on top just to make sure that's going to be a okay. <laughs> okay, that's good enough for me. Cool, so that's the soldering done. Excellent.